How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Guys, we did it. We did it! I finally am about to get black colors for every single legend in the game. But I have one more game to play. One more game with Onyx. This is a goal that I set out to do maybe a year or two years ago. I forget. I've been playing Brahalla for four years. I don't even have to win or lose. I mean, I just have to complete the game. So if you're, if you're looking for really good like Onyx gameplay uh, content, I did that yesterday. So check out my video yesterday uh, of Onyx. I played like five or six games and uh, th that was really fun. I was trying to get to level 24, but today I, g I went from level 24 all the way to level 25. And it uh, looks like Kiddo312 is going to be the guy that Three, two, helps one, me brawl. get black colors for Onyx. And they have honor. They're le he's letting me get a weapon. That's cool. Woo! That was a crazy way to end that fight. Alright guys, the moment is here. I finally did it. Let's see. Ooh, battle pass level as well. Synthwave colors with Zarya. Oh, that actually looks good. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where is it? Oh, yeah. There it is. Level 25 Onyx. And I have enough gold coins to go buy the black colors. So let's go see what that looks like. Oh man, guys, I'm so hyped for this. Let's go! <laughs> there it is. Black colors with onyx. It looks really, really good. So what am I going to use gold coins for? Purchasing all these white colors. So I already have all these white colors uh, unlocked because I already have the level requirement. You can get white colors before you get black colors, but the reason I didn't was because I, w I wanted to complete the harder task first, which is to get the black colors. I didn't want to waste all my coins, so to speak, uh, purchasing the white colors because I won't have enough then to get the black colors. You know what I mean? The black colors are 25,000 each, and these ones are only 10,000 each. So now that I have, I guess I'll get uh, white for Zariel. There you go. So now I'm going to start working on all these. It's going to take a long time, but we'll get there. So, all right. So let's actually uh, take a look at all the legends with their black colors, right? Just to show you guys. Black colors on Bodvar, right? Awesome. Black on Cassidy, already selected Orion. And for those of you that are wondering which legend I got to black colors first, I actually don't remember. I don't remember who I got black colors for first. Um, oops, didn't actually mean to go into the game. I just want to lock in black colors for every single legend. So I could show you guys. <laughs> I know I could do it through the store as well, but this is this is cooler. I might actually fast forward this because I thought I had more already selected black, but I'll fast forward. All right, guys, there's not too many people in the world that can do what I'm about to do. I'm about to show you guys all of my legends with black colors, all right? Let's start with Bodvar and count as we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and yes, those are black colors. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and... 50. 50 legends <laughs> with black colors. And wow, Onyx looks cool with black colors. 
literally the best color for Onyx is black. That looks so cool. Oh man. Just wanted to say thank you to you guys for supporting me on this journey. I know it's been a long one and uh, I am so happy that I have black colors with every legend. I don't know if I'm the first person to ever do it, but as far as I know, I am. If there's anybody out there, anybody out there who has black colors with every legend, let me know and with like video evidence or something. But I don't think anybody did. And I did it 100% legit. No bot farming or anything like that. No, no using bots to farm XP. Just playing the game. And uh, it did take a while. It did take a long time. So like I said, now I'm going to focus on getting all the white colors. Skyforge, Goldforge. And uh, just doing the Battle Pass missions and stuff. I, I wasn't able to really do the missions that much because of the uh, weapons and stuff. So now I'll be able to focus on the Battle Pass missions. And... Um, yeah, just focus on playing any legend I want for the most part. I don't have to think, man, I got to really level uh, Volkov because he's not to level 25. I shouldn't be playing Ragnar because he's already level 34. You know, that's how I've been thinking the last couple years. I finally don't have to think like that. So it's really a weight off of me to say I have black colors with every single legend. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys the completed roster, all black colors. Thank you guys so much for the support. And, uh, oh, also, they just showed off some new skins for Mako. So I'll go ahead and show the new skins for Mako right here. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to play Mako. As soon as Mako comes out, yes, which should be this week, yes, I will be grinding XP with Mako straight all the way to level 25. So that's going to be fun, too. All right, this is uh, the part of the stream, the dev stream that just happened today where they showed off the Mako skin. So let's go ahead and watch and uh, I'll give you guys my reactions to the skins as we watch. You ready, chat? Some you want to look at some skins, chat? Chat, you want to look at some skins? All right, so what's the first skin she's got here? Uh, let's do this one. So here is Hammerhead Mako. So, you know, there's a lot of different sharks mm -hmm. in the sea. You know what I mean? All right, that one's pretty awesome. I don't really like the coloring on the default colors on the hammerhead, but the hammerhead itself looks really cool. And wait until you guys see the weapons. They are incredible. And by the way, this skin does look better, I think, with other colors. So you're going to have to experiment with that. They do show the other colors. Uh, I will show the... I, they don't... That's the, that's the great sword. Look at that. The katars and the great sword are incredible. That's supposed to be a, a piece of coral. But it also has like a blade on, along the handle, kind of. That's such a cool, their handle guard or whatever. Really love that greatsword. So they show some of the colors here, but not all of them. Uh, I'll, I'll skip to a different part in the video. Later on in the stream, they showed all the colors. They went into training, but they couldn't do it here. So, all right, here's the next one. Uh, the next skin that we got here. Which way are you going? Ooh, okay. So you're going to that section or that way. It's the Abyssal Goblin Mako skin. Um, I really like this skin. So like, all right, that's incredible. I I gotta say, this one looks really aggressive and mean. It has bigger teeth, and uh, you know, just just kind of a, a lean, mean fighting machine kind of look. I love those katars. The great sword is simple and clean. I really love the design of the blade. It's really pretty, and I think that uh, with different colors. It'll look even better. Kind of like uh, that one Volkov skin with the blue colored blades. It kind of reminds me of that. Similar uh, similar theme. So that's awesome. And then last but not least. They have the uh, the Mecha Orca skin. This is, my, this is like literally one of my favorite skins for her. She, I just love her weapons. Uh... But we got one more, and I think chat's already saying I think it. Chat's chat's already, are, chat already chat, knows. Chat, chat already it. knows. Chat already knows, and that's okay. Let's just show it. Let's go. Chat knows. Uh, not really a shark, but why not? Orca Mako uh, here. Um, Orca Mako. So it's not technically a shark, as she said, but it's an Orca Mako. It's technically a whale, uh, or like a giant dolphin. I, I think it's a whale te technically, but. So I, I would not be surprised if if we get a dolphin Mako skin at some point. 
By the way, the this skin, the, the Orca Mako, is supposed to be a Mecha skin. So it goes with the Mecha Taros, Mecha Zuri, Mecha Ragnir. Now we have Mecha Mako. And um, the blade, the great sword, actually, the chainsaw actually spins when you go into a game. So I think they're about to show that right here. Yes, check it out. So the great sword actually spins. Which is really, really cool and it's really, really rare in Brawlhalla for a skin that's not technically an epic skin to have an animated weapon. So the Mecha, or Orca Mecha, whatever it's called, has this animated sword. It looks really, really cool. Now let's quickly jump ahead because they do show off the different colors for all the skins. Alright, these are all the stances. So. Defense stance takes away from speed, which is probably to be expected. Strength stance takes away from defense, which... Fair enough, fair enough. And then deck stance takes away from strength or force. And then speed stance, which gives Mako 9 speed, takes away from dex. So those are the stances for Mako. I am really hyped for Mako. They did say Mako would come out this week. Um, let me see if I can find where they show off more of the colors. I think they show off the colors here. Yeah, okay, so those are all the colors for Mako. They they didn't show them off all very well in the beginning, so showing them off all right there. They look really, 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 really cool, especially as obviously like the Goldforge, Skyforge, Black, Synthwave. All of those colors are definitely gonna look the best, of course. And then on uh, Abyssal Goblin Mako, uh, we, we, we already saw the colors for the for the base skin, but I guess here here you go again. G yeah, gray actually does look good on any shark skin, obviously, because most sharks are gray. But black looks really good, too. Obviously, uh, Sky Soulforge... I mean, I mean, Skyforge looks good, too. And then on the uh, Abyssal Goblin Shark, here's all the different colors. Got Sunset, gray... Pink, red, and now the good ones, white, black. The only ones they don't show are the rest of the seasonal colors, like the Halloween colors, the Lucky Clover, the Heat Wave, the Love Struck. They don't show any of those here, so we're going to have to see what those look like. And then on the Orca Mako, I actually like this one a lot on default colors, just because the black and white colors on the Orca is so, you know, iconic. You know, it, you, you almost can't even tell it's an Orca unless it has the black and white colors. And they look so good anyways. That looks pretty cool though, Goldforged Community Color. Yeah, that looks the best to me, just the black and white. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Can't wait to play Mako. Take it easy, guys.